Basically, the Arc of Art is a floating society that gathers initiatives from all around the world. It's a ship supplied with many different rooms for many different needs. There's a recording studio, a painting room, a clay room. There's a room for each creative act that you can think of. I came on the boat and uh, I just told them, I'm sorry, I'm not a hippie. I'm, I'm not an artist, uh, but I still will help and uh, I'm a mechanic and I can do work with my hands and they said no problem. So it was wonderful. <laughs> Over the years we have learned that it's much more efficient to work project based because in that way when 150 people direct their attention in the same direction, anything is possible. For me as an artist there is a huge, huge difference between being critical and saying this is right and this is wrong and being the guy who makes something that actually makes a change. Nou, we hebben dus nu sinds een paar dagen hebben Jamie Oliver aan boord en het, ja, het is natuurlijk een ultieme ervaring dat de groente die ik samen met die andere mensen verbouwd heb, dat hij die staat te bereiden. International waters seems to be the perfect place for world leaders to share and sharpen their visions. And at some point the magic is delivered. Art of Art Art of Art. There has been many prototypes over the years, small boats building to bigger and bigger, and next year, 2030, it's there. The ship that will have it all, the windmills, the solar panels, all the different creative rooms, all the laboratories, all the crew members, everyone is ready.